So I'm Max Armbruster, CEO of Talkbush. I'm a French mother, American father, and I've been uh, I've lived everywhere. Half of those interviews are done over chat, so with a recruitment chatbot. The other half are done over a phone. And what this does is by it captures the voice of the candidate, allowing them to shine and to say, this is me, this is why I want this job, this is why I'm great, um, this is why you should hire me, which is a much more interesting bit of information than the traditional oral resume. So we're telling companies, give everybody, every one of the candidates a chance to talk, talk about themselves, to tell their story, and you will end up with a better hiring mechanism and a better talent pool than if you go back to your usual screening techniques, which is, you know, do you, have you worked for my competitor? Did you go to a top three school? There's a ton of great talent, especially in the startup community, that is coming from not the top three school. I'd say, you know, probably m most, most great entrepreneurs didn't, didn't go to Harvard. Or, or MIT. I mean, definitely some good people there too. But, um, so, so we want to give everybody a chance to to be heard, and um, and Talkbush does that for thousands of candidates every week through chat and voice. Yeah, the, it's a software as a service. So they subscribe to the software, and the software is then plugged into their either their career site, or their Facebook page, or their WeChat and every candidate that comes in gets directed into the right job. And then the software asks them a few interview questions. Tell me about yourself, are you good for this job? Uh, and collects all the answers in audio, video, text, or documents. So all of this very manual work that used to be done where you'd have a, an HR assistant who would receive the CV, look for the phone number, call the candidate, see if, you know, try to get them on the phone, schedule an interview, talk to them. All of this is now done real time without any human intervention so that the HR team can just receive the finished product which is you know looking and listening to a candidate and deciding yes this is someone I want to spend time face to face with. Uh, com companies that need to hire a lot of uh, customer facing personnel so if you're uh, I mean th that's in the service industry there's a lot most of the jobs in big cities are service jobs, so things like um, retail, hospitality, uh, F&B, financial services, customer service. All of these jobs require people who have empathy, communication skills, 
charm, um, maybe multiling multilingual capabilities. None of these things are measurable in a resume. So for, for us, we're coming in and say, you know, dump that method and let's instead focus on letting the candidates talk to you for a couple of minutes straight and then you'll make, it, you'll make up your mind. So those are the, the industries. So we started out, our first target market was the call center industry, which does millions of hires every year and is a, a really a perfect fit for our product. No, not for executive hiring, although one day, one day uh, you'll have the competing capabilities where you can do real-time analysis over two people having a phone conversation and you could have a very average recruiter who will sound very, very smart because the computer will be suggesting to him all the right questions and answers. So eventually, that's, that'll be the role of the software, will be to enhance live conversation. But, you know, that's the five-year plan. There's uh, a lot of stats um, in terms of like the time to hire. Most of our companies from the time a candidate is initially engaging with them to the time they hire, it's just two or three days. And, and the initial interaction happens all automated where the candidate is invited, does, you know, expresses interest, does the automated interview, and is invited the next day for the face-to-face -face immediately. So that happens within minutes. And then, uh, and then depending on how fast they, they show up and they get hired, it could be the next day they could be hired. Um, on average, a recruiter would, uh, would go through five or 10 candidates a day, normally, traditionally, and with us can do 100, 150, so 10 times, 10 times the volume that they would uh, normally be able to do in terms of con candidates that were evaluated, invited, screened, and so on. So it's a huge productivity gain. 10, 10 to 15 times more. The machine tells them these are the people to focus on. Um, also, the cost per hire can be reduced considerably if you advertise directly on social media rather than going through marketplaces. So we're also getting 70% reduction in cost per hire from advertising standpoint. Well, we're trying to change the way people do recruitment and we're trying to enhance the, um, the, deci the human decision around, around hiring. That's, that's more interesting for me personally as the founder than the exit strategy is how we're going to get there. And, uh, you know, it could, be, it could be achieved, this objective could be achieved faster through, uh, through acquisitions or it could be achieved faster by uh, Initial public offering, or it could, or maybe it'd be even better to keep complete control of the company. So I don't spend too much time thinking about the exit strategy. I'm more interested in in uh, working with with intelligent, smart people. That's why I got into technology. Because like I said, I didn't have what it took to study engineering. So I figured next next best thing I could do is start a company which attracts great engineers. So that's that's what I'm interested in doing. I'm not thinking in terms of exit, I'm thinking about in terms of talent that I can bring into this project. And if this talent comes from the top with a big check, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> but, you know, uh, in the meantime, I'm just happy to be getting more people uh, on board.